Hello, my name is Bob Bonzar with the Yaskawa Technical Training Department. This is a series of electronic learning modules, or ELMs, for the Drive Wizard software. In this section, we will address how to safely control a drive using the drive control feature. This is convenient to use when testing using the Drive Wizard software. Make sure to read the warning and understand the normal drive operation before using the control. Also, make sure that you properly exit the drive control before closing out. This will bypass the customer's normal operation. The drive control can be accessed from the home screen, which automatically comes up. We can immediately then go to the status and monitoring and control. We can also get there from the startup tools at the top or the startup and diagnostics at the very top. And of course, we must be connected to the drive. Now make sure you understand you will be controlling the drive remotely from this software. So be safe. Make sure no one is near the motor or any of the machine's moving parts. Failure to heed this warning could be dangerous if not properly followed. Click Accept. Click the On to enable it. Note the COM, Sequence, and Reference lights are on now. Now you can use the Forward, Reverse, Stop, or Reset buttons for control. And the reference comes from the Virtual Potentiometer. You can see the frequency reference change below it. Also, you can see the output frequency and the output current monitor as well. When you're done using the control, make sure to stop the drive and click off before closing out. When the control is off, parameters B101 and B102 are set for terminals, and the keypad shows the AI or analog input for the reference as we see here. During the drive control from the software, the run and reference are through the communications, not from the terminals. This automatically is changed to comms or communications when it's enabled by clicking on. If we had used the control and forgot to close it out correctly, then we can see that the drive's parameters are still set to comms. So make sure that you stop and click the off before disconnecting to return to normal operation. For any further assistance, don't forget about the help in the Drive Wizard software.